Okay, let's go to projectile motion. This is a um, homemade experiment. In this case, we are dealing with a spin gang at zero degrees, and then we increase to a 10 degrees. Great. Uh, let's divide this experiment in two parts. Part one is used to calculate the initial velocity, and that is happening when we have a horizontal uh, initial velocity. Um, and part two is going to be when we have an angle of 10 degrees. We are using the answer from part one, it's going to be initial velocity, uh, in part two to calculate this distance. Okay, great. Let's do it. First, again, we have this uh, spring gun horizontally. So, uh, because of gravity, the projectile is going to be hitting um, one point below the horizontal. Great. Um, let's use a formula to calculate uh, this distance. Okay, uh, we can use this one. It's going to be delta y as a vector is equal to x tangent theta minus gx squared. In this case, x is uh, equal to one meter, the distance from the projectile right from here actually, right to the target. For this experiment, it's going to be one meter. Okay, that's x. Uh, x squared divided by 2 uh, initial velocity, which is this one right here, cosine squared, theta. Okay, but tangent of 0 is uh, 0 and cosine 0 is 1, so you, you can calculate very easily this um, two quantities. And then because this term is cancelled, we have that delta y is equal to negative gx squared divided by 2v not squared, cosine squared theta. In this case, because delta y is a vector, it's going to be negative y. Okay, when we substitute the value right here, we get that um, this uh, v naught square is going to be a positive. Okay, we're looking for magnitude in this case. Great. Um, to do that, again, to find the, um, this y, actually we're looking for average because we, the, we have impact of the projectile at different positions, it's not exactly the same point. They are, um, are very close to one average, correct? So uh, in this case, let's look for the average, the average quantity. And um, then also let's find the standard deviation. You know how to do it. Okay, and finally we represent this quantity y, right, this distance as the average plus minus the standard deviation. Okay, let's write it right here those values. Finally, uh, from this equation, we solve for the initial velocity and use the formula and also substitute the values. Formula, and then when we have the values in meters per second. In this formula, we have delta y. So delta y is gonna be actually the average Okay, the value for delta y right here, we're dealing, with, we're using this average. And in this case, we're dealing with um, the average, right, initial velocity. Perfect. Now, let's use this value in this formula when the uh, spring gun is at an angle of 10 degrees. Okay, and we repeat the steps actually we use the same formula for uh, uh, these two cases. Also, you want to, you can use uh, time, so for time, and the answer is gonna be the same. Okay, uh, but in this case, uh, this term is not canceled because tangent 10 is not zero, correct? And again, let's make um, 10, 12 trials, correct, for uh, the impact, finding the distance, okay, from uh, this horizontal. And uh, take the average. Also, from this data, we can calculate more easily the standard deviation. Okay, let's do it, standard deviation. And finally, let's represent the, um, this quantity distance as the average plus minus the standard deviation. Okay, um, again, 
because we are dealing with a um, experiment, usually we are looking for percent errors. In this case, let's take on the measurements or the distance y, correct, from the experiment to be the experimental value. Correct, let's take this again, average to be the experimental value for y. And from the formula, let's calculate again um, delta y or y and that's going to be the theoretical value. Let's compare if uh, these two quantities are the same or very close to the same. Okay, great. Again, um, we have the theoretical value for y. It's coming from this formula. Uh, uh, the formula is shown, also show the values and show the answer, okay? Uh, the, 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 at the end, the answer is going to be in meters. Also, the experimental one is going to be in meters. We're dealing with distances. And finally, let's find the percent error. You know the formula is going to be theoretical quantity minus the uh, experimental value divided by the theoretical times 100%. Uh, show me the, uh, the formula and also show me values. Okay, I want to see the values, values for each uh, quantity and finally write the answer, um, a number, right? Okay, perfect. Now let's start out the experiment. I'm gonna show you how to do it and let's calculate these values, right? The values for uh, this distance y for these two cases. Okay, let's do it. Okay, now let's go for part one. We're at the um, spring end, but the projectile is at zero degrees. Okay. Let's do it. We have, this is the screen. We are supposed to track all the impacts right here. Correct. And use that data to find the initial velocity. Okay, let's do it. This is trial one. Okay, the distance is one meter. Okay, let's do it. Okay, uh, we finished with uh, part one. Okay, we have all the impacts right here. Okay, let me double mark it to make sure that's gonna be correct. Okay, and these are the impact for case one. Case one. Now let's go for case two. In case two, we are changing the angle, so we are increasing the height. And the height is going to be right here for case two. Where we have the, the angle. Okay, let's do it. Okay, perfect. Now we make the angle of uh, 10 degrees and 10 or 12 trials. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, the first one was over here. Okay, yes. And then repeat step. Oop, I guess. Okay, now we completed uh, the uh, marks, the uh, part two, right? Finding the impact for the projectile. Now let's find the distances. Okay, let's do it. This is for part two. Part two. Okay. Remember, find the, we need to find the averages and use those on the equations. For we're dealing with averages, Please, let's use three, at least three digits, three significant figures for the result. You can use four, should be better in this particular experiment. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's go now for case one. Let's find the distances. Okay, the first one, remember we're dealing with centimeters, using centimeters. The first one is like a 
21.5 centimeters. Uh, the second one is going to be about 25. The next one, you can rearrange 22, 22. Correct. The next one, uh, 23.5. The next one, 25.5. You can rearrange. This one is 19.3. This one is 23.3. This one is 25.6. Uh, this one is 20.3, 22.3, and the last one is 25.1. Remember, these are centimeters. Okay, this is case one. Uh, let's find the average. And then let's go to case two. Now we are in part two, and let's find uh, again distances y. Okay, point one is gonna be nineteen point uh, what four. Next one, no, the first one is nine, no nineteen nine. You can see this is nine point four. The second one, which is this one, is six point uh, six. The next one is uh, eight point one. The next one is seven point. 8 this one is 7.3 this one 8.2 uh, this one is 5.6 this one is a uh, 6.4 and the last two are this one 7.1 and 7.6 okay so you have all the, uh, the data, please find the average and use those averages in the formulas that um, we had at the beginning. Okay, perfect. Let me go back to the board. Okay, we're done with uh, the experiment. Uh, remember uh, the measurement from uh, this impact. This is part one. Case one, we are going on this column right here. Let's find the average. Also, let's find the standard deviation. And just represent um, the quantity as the average plus minus the standard deviation. Okay, let's find uh, V naught from this equation. Okay, remember uh, for delta y, we are using the average, the average value, this one right here. And solve for V naught. Show me the formula, it's very easy, just a straightforward. Right, we use values and the answer. And use this formula again for this value for initial velocity on this formula. And repeat, right? We just repeated the experiment, now it's 10 degrees. Um, we get those distances. This is case two, right? And you can see they're more closer than on this one. Wow, okay, great. And uh, just repeat uh, the formula, it's the same formula. Use the values, remember uh, x is equals to 1, the same thing happens right here. This distance from here to here is uh, 1 meter. We're changing only the angle. Okay, and let's take the average for uh, this experimental value to be the experimental y. And from the formula, we use uh, uh, delta y to be the theoretical value. Okay. Let's compare these two quantities using the percent error and uh, find the percent error. Again, this is a homemade experiment. We expect a, you know, a good average, right? Uh, or a good percent error because it's a toy, it's not an ideal case. Um, as you can see, uh, case one, see the uh, standard deviation is going to be kind of high compared to case, case two, right? The standard deviation is is a smaller, correct? But well, a toy and uh, the idea is, uh, this is the idea, correct? How we work with projectile motion. Remember, these formulas are for ideal cases, no friction, everything's ideal. But when we have real devices, instrument, um, sometimes like in this case, uh, we have like around maybe 15% error. 
correct? The ideal uh, case is when we have 5% or less than 5% uh, percent error. Or when we have 10 or below 10, it's still okay. Um, above 10, well, something is, is wrong. Like in this case, maybe um, the, the toy is not so good, correct? But well, uh, the idea, the principle is the same. Okay, great. See you in the next experiment.